distinguished friends, let me take this opportunity to express our sincere gratitude to the British government and its people for having stood by us in our difficult time. Um, I feel particularly privileged to uh, welcome friends from Pakistan because I have two family connections of my own. In the First World War, my grandfather was privileged to fight with a regiment which was heavily recruited from what is now Pakistan. And much more recently, my twin sons would not be alive today if it wasn't for the brilliance of a Pakistani, an ethnic Pakistani doctor. So I owe your country a great deal. We are countries that are linked in so many ways. We are countries, of course, linked very heavily with trade. We are countries that are linked culturally. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We have developed trade. We have developed other relationships defense and commerce, industry, education, and we are very happy that this relationship is time-tested. British people, British government, British society, and especially Pakistani diaspora has always stood by us in our times of history. I'm satisfied that we have made good progress under the ESD framework and I look forward to holding detailed and wide-ranging discussions with Prime Minister Cameron and other members of his cabinet tomorrow for further intensifying this cooperation. First of all, I would like to congratulate Dr. Sahil for putting up this channel and I wish all by all the best, not only to him but to his team. Obviously, I am here with the, with the Prime Minister and this was a long time ago the invitation. And today, I am happy to meet the Prime Minister of the UK, which was the Prime Minister of the UK, which was the Prime Minister of the UK, which was the high level talks. And which was the speech of the speech today. It is marvelous. It shows the strength, the solidarity with Pakistan. First of all, it's um, a very important trip uh, to Pakistan that we are uh, part of. Um, Wazir Azam Sayyid Yusuf Raza Gilani Saab ने बहुत सारी आज मीटिंग्स की हैं पिछले दो दिन में मीटिंग्स होती रही हैं और एक इस पूरे दौरे का अहम पहलू ये है कि ब्रिटानिया और पाकिस्तान का के बेहतर तालुकात और उसमें जो मैं समझती हूँ बहुत एक बुनियादी चीज़ है वो है तालीम और सेहत के हवाले से
پبلک اپینین والے طاقتور ترین چیز جس سے حکمرانوں کے بھی معاشرے کے بھی سب کے درمیان تو اس کو آئیے پوزیٹیو پبلک اپینین والے وہی قدمی رول ادا کرے گا ہمارے مرکو اے پی ہو جو آمد ہوئی ہے وہ پرائم منسٹر کے انویٹیشن پہ آئے ہیں فور دی انہین سٹریٹیٹک ڈیلوگ ویڈ یو کے اور ایٹ پوز ایکسٹریملی سکسیسفل اور بائی دی اینڈ آف مائی ٹور دی منسٹر فور انفرمیشن ویل بریف یو feel to be here tonight uh, coming from Pakistan to uh, this is part of the four-day visit of our Prime Minister and a delegation of uh, very senior ministers of um, finance foreign affairs commerce and information uh, it's uh, I think a major part of our visit is also to meet with the Pakistan British community here and this is an evening I think in honor of the British Pakistanis uh, there's a very important role that uh, Pakistani diaspora can play. We always try to emphasize more when the head of state is traveling, the president or prime minister, to further enhance and further help us in promoting investment and promoting uh, British and UK relationship on trade and investment. With us we have the first Pakistani to play professional rugby for the United Kingdom, Ikram Bhatt. Ikram, how are you finding the evening? I'm good. It's uh, really enjoyable. Some good people and uh, having lots of fun. Prom, how do you think we can encourage the Pakistani youth to take up sport as a professional activity? I think it's really important that we have some strong positive role models to uh, raise aspirations and inspire both uh, boys and girls to take part in sports and physical activity um, and provide opportunities that's not been uh, really given, uh, particularly uh, mainstream skills. Um, uh, they think twice about encouraging people from South Asian and in particular Pakistanis to get involved in the non-traditional sports um, and what we're asking for is to at least give, uh, give them the opportunities to take part and let them decide whether they want to uh, continue in their development in what particular they choose uh, however uh, at least give them a chance. Uh, uh, we're from TV Apex, a web-based Pakistani TV channel from UK. How did your life happen? What did you say about it? And the Pakistani diaspora is here. Our life has happened. They came to Prime Minister's invitation for the enhanced strategic dialogue with the UK. And it was extremely successful. And by the end of my tour, the Minister for Information will brief you. Prime Minister Sayyid Yusuf Reza Kalani, Baroness Farsi, respected lords, members of parliament, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum, good evening, and welcome to this special night of culture celebrating the coming together of our international communities from the Indus River to the Thames. My name is Almina Ahmed, I'm a t television journalist based at BBC London. You may have seen my office at the new broadcasting house just across the road. I'm honoured to be your MC tonight. This event is being held by the British Pakistan Foundation in association with the Pakistan High Commission and the theme of the evening is Indus the Thames Building Bridges. Honourable Prime Minister of Pakistan, Jalani Saab, Cabinet Ministers, Excellencies, Lords, Ladies and Friends. It gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you to the British Pakistan Foundation's Indus Defense event. The Prime Minister and his delegation's presence gives the Pakistani people an opportunity to have a close dialogue about the concerns we all share about the prosperity of our great nation, Pakistan. 
I would like to mention a few key points about the British Pakistan Foundation. The key objectives of the British Pakistan Foundation is the social economic development of Pakistan. Our aim is to supplement the efforts of UK-based Pakistani NGOs as well as Pakistani NGOs. We want to build bridges and not tunnels. For the UK-Pakistani diaspora, it is important to have a local platform for common causes, not only to resolve local issues, but also to help build strong ties between the UK and Pakistan. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening. My name is Alia Fateh, and I serve on the Board of Trustees of the British Pakistan Foundation. On behalf of the Board of BPF, I would like to welcome Prime Minister of Pakistan, Yusuf Raza Gilani, Honorable Cabinet Ministers, Your Excellencies, Lords, Ladies, and Good Friends. The British Pakistan Foundation, also known as BPF, is a young organization. BPF was launched a little over a year ago in November 2010 at an event in London attended by Foreign Secretary William Hague and the Foreign Minister of Pakistan. At that launch event, BPF raised £300,000 for the flood victims in Pakistan and distributed the money through four local NGO partners as well as UNICEF. Now, while BPF engaged in flood relief work during that critical time, our collective mission remains the same, to help accelerate the socio-economic development of Pakistan. We aim to do so by creating a trusted and transparent channel for philanthropy for individuals, corporations, and foundations, and equally importantly, by harnessing the intellectual capital of the diaspora community while leveraging the expertise of our partner organizations and our Leadership Council in Pakistan. Please warmly welcome our Chief Guest, His Excellency Prime Minister Sayyid Yusuf Gilani. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Baroness Sayyid Awarsi, Federal Ministers, Lords, Members of the Parliament, Members of the British Pakistan Foundation, Ambassador Adam Thompson, Ambassador Wajid Shamsul Hassan, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum, good evening. I am extremely thankful to Mr. Asif Rangoonwala and the British Pakistan Foundation for hosting me to this dinner. Distinguished friends, the Pakistan-UK relationship is unique, warm and cordial, which is based on shared values, history, culture, and strong people-to-people -people contacts. Both our countries share commonality of views on many issues and collaborate with each other in various international forums. There exists an excellent understanding at the highest political level. More than a dozen high-level visits from both sides in the last two years, including that of the President of Pakistan, Prime Minister Cameron, and myself, recently by a foreign minister, have provided impetus and direction to the bilateral relations.
taken this visit for the first summit level annual review of the enhanced strategic dialogue at the invitation of the Prime Minister David Cameron. Through this dialogue we are intensifying cooperation in areas of shared interests including trade and business, economic growth and development cultural cooperation, defense and security, and education and health. I have held detailed and wide-ranging discussions with Prime Minister Cameron and the Cabinet Ministers, dealing with the five stands of the EST. I also had useful interaction with Brit British businessmen and investors. As regards trade, let me first of all acknowledge with gratitude the United Kingdom's support for the EU trade concessions for Pakistan. I also thank Prime Minister Cameron for his pledge to continue to advocate Pakistan's case for enhanced trade access to the European Union, including GSP+. Guys, uh, uh, TV Apex is uh, based on a based TV channel and uh, the youth and uh, the intellectuals cater to them. You will have a completely uh, different image and their program will cater to them. Guys, tell me what you are going to take here. I will ask you three questions from here. Look, our relationship is very good with Britannia. And our second largest trading partner is in the whole world. और हमारे बहुत अच्छे बायलेटर रिलेशंस हैं और हमारी ट्रेड हो इकोनॉमी हो कल्चर हो एजुकेशन हो हेल्थ हो डिफेंस हो इस पे हमारी बड़ी कॉपरेशन है हम उनको और इनहेंस स्ट्रेटेजिक डायलॉग के लिए हम आए थे और यूथ के लिए मैं सिर्फ ये कहूँगा कि हम 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 चाहते हैं कि जो यूथ है हमारी उसके लिए हम इस बजट में कोई ऐसा प्रोविजन रखें जिस पे हम एक लाख यूथ को जॉब दे सकें अगेन सब टीवी एपेक्स जो है एक वेब बेस्ड टीवी है बेसिकली व्हिच इज एक्सेसिबल फ्रॉम ऑल ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड बेसिकली ये डॉक्टर सुहेल चोकताई जो कि एक ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन है उनकी उनका प्रोजेक्ट है और ये कायम किया गया खास तौर पे पाकिस्तान का इमेज रेस करने के लिए एंड टू कनेक्ट पाकिस्तानी पाकिस्तानीज़ फ्रॉम होम एंड अब्रॉड आप इस बारे में इस मॉडल के बारे में कुछ कहना चाहेंगे देखें ये एक अच्छी एफर्ट है और हमने पहले भी जो मीटिंग्स की हैं स्टॉक एक्सचेंज में 
और फिर हमने किए स्टैंडर्ड चार्टर्ड बैंक के अंदर और उधर हमने तमाम बिजनेस कम्यूनिटी के साथ बात की है कोई ऐसा तरीका निकाला जाए जिससे पाकिस्तान के इमेज को हम इन्हेंस कर सकें आई रियली अप्रिशिएट द एफर्ट्स ऑफ दिस ऑफ दिस टेलीविजन के जिन्होंने पाकिस्तान के इमेज को इन्हेंस करने के लिए एफर्ट कर रहे हैं ये जो टी वी एपिक्स की जो कंट्रीब्यूशन है इन इन्हेंसिंग द इमेज ऑफ पाकिस्तान आई रियली वॉन्ट टू कॉम्प्लीमेंट